cities face the problem that everyone is talking about, from climate change to plastic waste and affordable housing. The unfortunate reality is that concrete isn't only one of the largest greenhouse gas emitters in the world, it's also starting to become extremely expensive. It became really obvious to me that creating a building materials technology company to get rid of the plastic waste problem, build affordable housing for low-income communities, but also empower women's lives was the right thing to do. Cubic is an environmental technology company. We turn hard-to-recycle plastic waste into low-carbon and low-cost building materials. My name is Kendus Asfa. I'm the founder and CEO of Cubic. I grew up in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, in a community that raised every kid together. When I was growing up, Addis Ababa was fairly small. As I grew up, skyscrapers were going up, roads were being built. I saw what progress was looking like, and it really made me think, are we living in a world where everyone has a dignified way of life? Unlike many technology companies, we didn't start by thinking about the product. We started to think about the market, the people who will buy it, to understand their biggest challenges in using concrete and how challenging and expensive it could be to collect waste. There's four pillars that Cubic spends most of its time focusing on. Plastic waste, because there's over 60 million tons of it that goes unrecycled in the world. Affordable housing, because billions of people in this world cannot afford to have a decent home. And climate change, because 42% of greenhouse gas emissions are contributed by the real estate sector. The fourth one that really drives the soul of this company is how we actually empower women. They're the ones who invest in community, but unfortunately they're also the ones that are the most marginalized and underrepresented in most sectors. We take various types of plastic from waste pickers. We're able to bring it to our facility where we clean it. We have our own magic sauce of being able to take different types of these plastic types and make an ingredient that can be molded into things like bricks, columns, beams. And we've created a very unique design where all of these different parts can be assembled just like Legos to make a wall. My name is Salah Adil Shamil. I'm an architect by profession. This could be a column. We have the cubic bricks uh, interlocked with each other. We just have to hammer it, and then once the whole structure, the beam and the columns are interlocked, then it becomes a solid structure. Building a home with cubic is super fast. With just four people, we can get 100 square meters of wall space up in just five days. We've built a daycare recently that just took us 16 days. The intuitive building process of Cubic also opens up job opportunities for those that have very low skill. So this is here we have the first daycare built by Cubic Bricks, 100% plastic recycling bricks. What we have done today is create a supply chain that can buy directly from a woman waste picker, triple or even quadruple her income from what she used to buy. On the inverse, we've been able to sell these bricks to real estate developers who are not just seeing social and environmental impact that they can bring, but also realize that they can increase their profitability and use a product that is actually much stronger and much safer than using the old way of concrete. For every square meter of wall 
that we build, we're able to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by almost five times. We currently make over a quarter million square meters of wall space every single year. That equates to almost 100,000 tons of CO2 emissions. If we can drive away cement, we've been able to lower costs for low-income households. We've been able to save our earth from being excavated, but we've also saved our climate from being harmed by one of the largest polluters in the world and in our journey. If we have removed plastic waste from the environment and a woman's income increased because of doing business with us, I would say that is an effort worth spent. Mm -hmm.